I'm Emily Hayworth Booth and I teach drawing the graphic novel here and also drawing the comics and graphic novels over at Drawing School Central. I'm drawing a graphic novel at the moment and it's about my recovery from chronic fatigue syndrome so it's about um, the experience of getting ill and then the recovery process so I guess I'm using drawing as a way of telling a story that's quite difficult to tell. Comics aren't just about superheroes and I think people are really waking up to that now and that they're a medium for telling any kind of story about politics, family, history, biography. We all start by drawing and then we get really scared and we stop drawing and we start worrying about what people think. But drawing can be um, immensely useful to us for so many reasons. It can be just a way of engaging with the world and um, getting away from our screens and just feeling more alive. It can be a kind of active meditation. Um, and for me personally, I guess drawing is kind of therapy and um, it's something I've always turned to when I've had difficult moments. Drawing can make your thoughts and feelings more visible to you and um, more tangible and maybe less powerful. Uh, they have less power over you once they're, once they're expressed in a drawing and then you can start to understand and maybe even change them because you have the power to, to change that drawing as well. Recently when I was teaching we were doing a memory drawing exercise and that involved the students just looking at the model for two minutes without drawing and afterwards I asked the students what that was like and one of them said it was so nice to be allowed just to look and I thought that was really striking that um, we're not really allowed to just look anymore and we're always expected to be doing um, making and um, producing and it's, um, that's what drawing at its best allows us to do is just to look.